These are the Wandering Therapist Sessions. I am Tyler Patrick, your Wandering Therapist, and I'm here to provide you with hope, healing, and helpful insights in your journey for a wholehearted life. What's up, you guys? Tyler here, the Wandering Therapist, with another episode on our podcast. I just want to take a few brief minutes today and talk about something that came up in my group last night with one of the men's groups that I do. And it's had me sleeping on it and these thoughts are just coming through my mind. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. Hopefully it'll be helpful to you. Uh, the, the principle and the topic I wanted to talk about is the idea of how to begin to offer presence in your relationships. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is during our discussion last night, somebody shared a song with me and the song caused me to start to think about like how I'm showing up in my relationships. And I was actually kind of hit deep inside with this idea that I'm a therapist who's supposed to be saving relationships and I often don't show up with the right presence when I come home from work at night to see my kids or to hang out with my wife. I don't take the time often to actually let my, my family members really know how I feel about them even though I think about them through the day. I don't often reach out and, or send a text or say, hey, I was thinking about you or I love you or I appreciate these things from you. And, and the thought is, is I had this image of me as a man probably doing what a whole bunch of other men do in general, maybe all of us do sometimes, in the sense that we get so caught up in going through the motions of our lives that we forget to actually care for the things that matter the most. And I think some of us have actually in some ways emotionally, mentally, maybe physically because we're tired and exhausted, we end up withdrawing and retreating into places that don't actually produce the lives that we want. I, I work with so many men and I relate to this myself sometimes that we end up in this like routine where we go and we do what we think we should do, doing our duty, and then we come home and we did disappear into our man caves or I can't tell you how many men have their chair that they sit in every night and they tune out and watch TV all night long. In the meantime, they've got a wife and a family who are aching inside for a deeper level of connection. Or a man who comes home and his wife wants to talk with him, but he doesn't have the skills to emotionally connect with her, or he's afraid of being vulnerable, he doesn't know how to show up that way, and ultimately he shrinks away and disappears. Or in my case, becomes a workaholic, where I can be at work for 90 hours a week and be totally happy because I'm pretty good at what I do, but at the end of the day, I'm still neglecting the things that matter the most to me because I might be afraid of what could happen if I don't have control over the situation when I talk to my wife or my kids. So my challenge to you guys today is to think about your own relationships. Think about the way that you're showing up or not showing up. I imagine most of us could relate to numbing out in some areas of our lives. Find those places where you're numbing out. For me, it's television, it's social media. Find those places where you're numbing out and take a real inventory on the actual cost that you're, the price that you're paying in the form of relational connection and the ability to show up in strength in your relationships and offer something that you have and that only you can give in context of those relationships. You're there for a reason and offering yourself and your presence and your love is the best gift that you can give to the people that matter most to you. Uh, there's another video that I sometimes show people um, by Thich Nhat Han on the Oprah show and he talks about these four mantras that we can use in our lives and if we start to live according to these four mantras we reduce our suffering, we increase our joy, and we increase our connection in the context of relationships. And so I just wanted to share those four mantras with you in ways that you can show up and offer your presence. The first one is saying, darling, or whatever you wanna say, whatever your pet name is for your, your people in your life, I'm here for you. And say it in other ways, maybe not even in words, but in your presence, in your body language, in your eye contact, darling, I'm here for you. All right, second one is, darling, I see you. Let them know that you are thinking about them. It's like the old Billy Joel song says, tell her about it. 
right? Let them know that they're on your mind. Let them know that you see them. Let them know that you are seeking to understand that the, the process that they're in in their lives or the struggles that they're having and that you're there and that you're grateful that you know that they're there. The second one is <clears throat> to say, darling, the third one is to say, darling, I see you suffer and I'm here for you. And when you see them in a struggle, you're stepping into this place with them. It's a form of empathy. It's the ability to connect with them on an emotional level, even if you can't understand all the details and to just acknowledge, I see that you're having a struggle. I see that you're having a pain <clears throat> in your life. And I want to be here with you as you navigate these things. You're not going to go and fix it for them because you can't probably, but your presence can reduce the suffering instantly. And then the last one is the hardest mantra to live by. It's when you have hurt somebody, you're the source of their pain, or they have hurt you and they're the source of your pain. And you go to them and you say, darling, I am suffering. I am hurting. Please help me. And if, if we can get good at that in our relationships, if my wife says something to me that's cutting and hurtful today, and I'm struggling, instead of getting defensive and angry or telling, them to, telling her to like talk to the hand or whatever, if I can re approach her from a place of vulnerability and say, hey babe, like, I'm suffering, like that hurt, please help me. It's risky because she might get defensive. She might not want to not might not want to hold it for me, but it's the best shot I have of allowing connection to come back into our life, allowing a repair to happen. I'm suffering. This is how I'm hurt. Please help me. So, a few things that might be helpful to you guys today. I hope it is. Please take stock of your own relationships. This life is too short to not have joy in our relationships, and I wish you guys the best of luck.